Hey guys, it's May May, and check this out. This is an artist grade, professional quality pencil sharpener that sharpens pencils in three different sharpnesses. It does blunt, medium, and sharp. And I have to tell you, the people at Evergreen who make this product contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing the product, and I said, sure if they give me one to give away to you guys. And this one is the one that is a giveaway for you. And I'm gonna show you how to use mine because they sent me one to keep. And the information for winning that guy will be in the description below. There'll be a little link to a blog for you to be able to enter to win. Now, this cool pencil sharpener, at first I thought, oh, it's just a pencil sharpener. Am I really gonna need that, you know? Well, then I noticed that it had three different points that it will sharpen to. It has a blunt, a very blunt point, a medium blunt point, and then a sharp point. Now in the package, you get the pencil sharpener, the little AC adapter, and this cord. This cord is so cool to me. Here's why. It plugs into your pencil sharpener because that is your power adapter, okay? Then on this end, it has a USB adapter. So if you're a student that travels around, maybe in your backpack, you have your laptop, you need your pencil sharpener for your colored pencils or what have you, you can plug this straight in to your laptop. Even for me, sometimes I'll have my laptop sitting off to the side with maybe a picture of something I'm working on, and this guy can plug right into the laptop and be used that way. But you can also plug this USB in to the little um, AC adapter and then plug it straight into the wall, which is what I'm going to do today. You also have the option of batteries. It does accept batteries, and I want to say it takes um, AA batteries. So I had to look at it and see. Four AA batteries, which are sold separately. They do not come with it. Okay, let's see how this guy works. So just to let you know, I played around with this guy on a Periscope, and if you're interested in seeing the first time I ever used it straight out of the box, that Periscope is saved over on my account, which is May May Made It. So head over to Periscope. You can watch it. You don't have to, you know, it's just there from a, a replay, so you can watch it at any time. Now, I'm going to show you using all three nibs. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what they look like. Now, this pencil sharpener does three different sharpenings. I have already done these guys to show you. Can you see how blunt the one here is? It's extremely blunt on the tip. This one is slightly sharper, but this one is super sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other end of these pencils. These are the same ones I just showed you. We're going to use the blunt end, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works from a clean sharpen of a pencil. So this is the most blunt, and what you do to get that is you slide this little guide all the way over to that most blunt image there, and then you're going to put your pencil into the sharpener. Now, here's important. I learned this the hard way. Don't press. You don't have to force it to eat the edge up. It'll do it on its own. So you're just going to put the pencil in and let it work until it stops. You'll hear it when it does. Now it stopped and I'm going to lift it out and you can see that that tip is not extremely sharp. It's blunt on the end, which is cool because sometimes you don't want a super sharp uh, nib. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. So this one is the next one. This is a little bit sharper. To get this one, I'm going to move this over slightly or right to the middle here and line it up with that middle image. Same thing, I'm going to use the raw end of this pencil and we're gonna put it inside. Not pushing, just holding it in place. When it changes its sound, you know it's done. And see how that nib looks? Very blunt on the end, very flat. Now this pencil I just sharpened with the sharpest point. And what I'm gonna do is show you that from a completely blunt end of a color pencil. So I've moved this little guide all the way over to the sharpest point. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert this just like we did the others, hold it there until it stops. You can hear how the sound changed. It's no longer sharpening even though I have that in there. When I pull it out, look at the point that we get on that pencil. Isn't that amazing? I just love this guy. And to be honest, I never thought I needed a professional grade pencil sharpener, but I really like having that option. I'm really not a person that always uses this super fine point, but there are times when you want to get into those little small places and this is great for doing it. Now, I do feel like it really, um, really gets some of that pencil out of the way. So you can see 
how I have both ends sharpened now and it's a little bit shorter. But the cool thing is it stops when it's done. So you're not sitting there going, oh, am I done? Am I not? Do I need to put it back in? You know, because it's no longer touching the pencil. Now, all your shavings are kept over here to the side. Check that out. These shavings are from sharpening, let's see, three, six. I sharpened nine pencils in there. So there's nine pencil shavings. Some of them were already sharpened, so it didn't take very much off. It just um, home, you know, made the little tip a little sharper. So there's that. And to get this out, you just tilt this to the side. I kind of do a pat. And then you just pop it open like this. And see how it's all in there like that? And you can just empty it into your trash can. And then pop it right back on. It's, I just think it's a great product. It's easy to carry. It's not very big. You can see the size of it. Matter of fact, let's measure it. So this guy is about five inches long and about mm, less than three and a half tall. So not very big, perfect for a backpack or for uh, your purse. If you like to keep your color pencils and your coloring books in your purse, who knows? I love this guy. I really appreciate the folks over at Evergreen sending this to me. This is the package that it comes in and you can purchase it on Amazon. I'll put a link below to their um, link. I want to see if there's anything I haven't told you here. I pretty much told you all of this. Be sure, here's one thing I'll, I will caution you. Go ahead and read the instructions first. I didn't do that. I just took it out and started playing with it, and I learned a lot after I read the instructions, so be sure to do that. Also, on their packaging, you can see here that they have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and they recycle products whenever they create them. So go check out their social medias as well. And thank you guys so much for sending this to me to um, use and to review. And if any of you want to win one, you know I always give away one of the products that I review, so there will be one available to you. The link for that giveaway is below. Thanks so much for watching today guys i hope you enjoyed this review i think this guy is super cool for all you colorers out there talk to you soon bye bye